What is going on, saxophone fans? This is Tyler Anderson with GetASax.com, your source for the best vintage and pro saxophone gear. Today, I've got my pedal board set up, so we're gonna talk about how to use multiple pedal effects with the saxophone. We're gonna talk about the best order to set up your effects in and also different combinations that uh, sound really great with the sax. All right, let's check it out. So let's talk a little bit about the equipment that I have and how it's set up. I'm starting out with my SM57 microphone. This is a great budget microphone if you want to get started sending your saxophone through effects. So I've got that connected to an XLR cable which uh, runs and connects to this low to high Z adapter. This basically allows me to turn that XLR connection into a quarter inch connection so I can plug it into my pedal board. In a bit, we're gonna get into how all of these pedals are connected and why they're in this order, but for now, I've got the output of this pedal board running into my interface, which is my Focusrite 2i2, and for today's video, that's running into my iPad to record. So before we go into what specific pedals I have on this pedal board, I wanna talk about something called the stereo field, which is going to explain why I have them set up in this particular order. The stereo field is the perception of width and space that is created by sending audio to left and right signals. So when you listen to music in your headphones, you have different audio being sent to your left headphone and different audio being sent to your right headphone. What this does is it creates the opportunity for us to perceive that sounds are coming from different spaces. Now the reason that this is important when you're setting up a pedal board is you want the effects at the beginning of your pedal board to have a narrow effect on your stereo field and then move towards effects that have a greater effect on your stereo field. The reason we do this is that if you have pedals at the beginning of your board that have a large effect on the stereo field, by the time you combine it with other effects and send it somewhere, it's just gonna come across as very muddy. So with this pedal board, I'm starting out with the Harmonist and the Pugilist Distortion, which both have a small impact on the stereo field. And then I move to the MXR, uh, Flanger, Phaser, and Chorus, which are modulation effects that have a slightly greater effect on the stereo field. And then lastly, I'm going to my Carbon Copy Analog Delay, which has a huge effect, fills up the whole stereo field. All right, let's check out how different combinations of these pedals work together to create really cool effects for the saxophone.
All right, everybody, thanks for checking out this video on how to use multiple pedal effects with the saxophone. I hope you liked it. Like I said, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments and I'll make sure to get back to you. All right, thanks a lot, bye.